Hello friends, Tony here. In the previous video we worked with uh, role tables and also we hide the admin role and the admin user. And right now we have here there are no items but we have the admin role. Now let's work with a form to create new role also to update and delete that. So let's open the VS code and first I'm going to open the role controller and here we need to create the create method so let's say method create okay and here let's open the department controller because here we have the same as the role we have only the name so I'm going to copy what we have in the create here and paste it right here we need to import the split form, we need to import the input from the form builder and also the submit from the form builder. Good. First one, change the route to be admin roles store. We have only the name and then we have save and then return the view admin roles create. Pass in the form. Okay, let's save and let's open the resources views admin and here we need to roles create. Here we need to say new role and instead of this one because with the user we worked with the form component not with the form builder so instead of something like this, we are going to say just for dollar sign or like this. Okay, let's save and let's see now on the browser if I navigate to the new role. Uh, yeah, we need to bind this. I forget to do that. And also let's build close. And let's come here and refresh go to the new role and yeah now we have only the name okay now let's start and work with the store so I'm going to copy what we have here on the department controller and go to the role controller and paste it we need to change the create department request so let's create a new request artisan make a request and I'm going to say create role request and one more for the update role request like this and use now the create role request here also we are going to use the role from the spotty permission models and create that one import the split and say not department but role created and return to the route admin roles index like this now let's open this create role request change the authorized to be true and we have only the name so let's say just name is going to be required and let's say unique the table roles and the column is name and I'm going to remove because here we are we're not going to say accept on the update yes so let's open also the update uh, role request and change the authorized to be true also here and then in this one now we are going to say the name is going to be are required and also here I'm going to use the rule from the illuminate validation and I'm going to say unique to the role class from the permission spotty permission model role class and then say ignore and pass in the ID which is this a role 
ID like this. Let's say close this one, also close this one, and we are good with the store. Let's come here and in one go also work with the edit, copy and paste in the role controller, change the route model binding here instead of department. We're going to say a role from the spotty permission model dollar sign role and the action is going to be the route admin roles update pass in the role here then the method put else is the name only fill with the role okay and return the view admin roles edit pass in the form save and let's open also the edit view in the roles here and the same thing say for dollar sign form and I'm going to self close and edit the role here save this and close this one then let's work with the update copy this and paste it on the road controller also and use the update role request also here we need to bind the role dollar sign role and say here dollar sign role update the request validated split with road updated and return to the route admin roles index and the last one let's also work with a delete so let's copy this and close now this one paste it here using the role dollar sign road here and delete the role so role delete then split those notification role deleted and return back let's save and let's see now on the browser what we have let's go to the roles and yeah we don't have any role right now let's go and create new role and i want to say admin we have the admin role if i say admin save yeah the name has already been taken good let's say uh writer save and yeah role created and here is the role let's create also one more and say user save okay let's create one more and say test and yeah here it is now let's delete this uh not delete let's uh, update this so i'm going to say test up and role updated we have test up let's see if i remove everything save the name field is required now let's say a user and we have the user I say yeah the name has already been taken good if I say test good now let's see for the delete delete the role are you sure no and if I say yes now yeah the role deleted and everything works correctly as we expected Okay friends, that's it about this video and also let's see for the search. So if I search for Oratory Yeah, if I search for the admin We don't have good Now that's it about this video friends I hope you enjoy and don't forget if you like the video, like the video on YouTube and subscribe to my channel because it's going to help me to rank on YouTube. All the best and see you in the next one. Thanks.